Hello, plant people. How are you guys doing today? If you're new around here, my name's Ashley and I'm a soil scientist. On this channel, I like to take that science and apply it to all things plants. And in today's video, we're talking about essential oils. And this is a highly requested video from quite a few viewers that have left in the comments different ways to use essential oils. So we have the humidifier method, which I have this Lancy doll humidifier here. I've been running it in house for about two weeks now and it has a nice little port on the back where you can actually stick essential oils in a cotton ball or on a piece of paper towel in this little tray and put it on the back and it uh, emits essential oils throughout the house so it's something cool to look at there's also of course things like diffusers there are ways to mix this in a spray there's ways to mix this into a rub where we would actually rub it on the plants all that sort of stuff and quite honestly when the question was first posed to me i just thought no you're crazy that doesn't even make i'm i stay away from like that health food industry stuff i just assumed this was fake i assumed essential oils were fake but then logic kicked in when i started actually reading the studies on essential oils that kind of showed a little bit of a, a reasoning as to why it would work and the big reasoning behind it is it is plants that have just been concentrated to a point that they are beneficial in fighting fungal, bacterial, any sort of pathogenic issue. And so that is where I mostly came from, from this point. And so we're gonna be talking about whether or not you can use any sort of essential oil on your plant, whether you should use it, whether you shouldn't use it, and how I intend to use essential oils going forward in my plant routine. One thing I will say is quality. Quality is a must. And that is something that was reiterated through the entire study or through all the studies they looked at. And they never really gave up the goods on this, what brand they were using. So I'm not really sure what brand these studies were using, but quality is key. There is a lot of companies out there that make fake essential oils, which I'm sure are just like fragrant type things. And then there's ones that make good essential oils. Now I can leave an Amazon link down below, both for this here, this humidifier with the essential oil thing in the back, because that is the route I'm going with essential oils with plant care. But um, I can also leave a link for the essential oils I'm using. It's called Nature's Truth. And I'm not gonna lie, you guys, I look for medical grade, I look for everything. I can't figure out what a good quality essential oil has. I have no idea how to understand it. There's no, um, you know how you have like Omri or you have USDA organic certified or you have uh, non-GMO with the butterfly in the check mark. Like there's organizations out there that regulate a lot of different products and essential oils is a free for all. There is no regulatory company out there that is putting stamps saying this is 110% an actual essential oil. So business idea for anyone out there. But yeah, I just, I couldn't find a, a certification type way of doing it. So I will list what I'm using. Do I know if this is going to work? No, no idea. And quite honestly, I'm not gonna have a really good way of knowing whether or not it's gonna work until I've gone through, you know, however long of a process. So this guy here is the bet that I'm using. I'm just gonna pop it in the back and we'll get into why that is. So essential oils are essentially oils from plants that have been highly concentrated. But the thing here is that every plant has a different property. So not all plants are going to be particularly good when it comes to their oils in fighting pathogens in general. So there is studies that have narrowed down the particularly good plants that do fight fungal and bacterial pathogens both in the air or on top of surfaces. And so the, the three big ones are thyme, tea tree oil, and peppermint. Oh, and clove, peppermint and clove. And so the thyme has thymol in it, which is a are able to sterilize surfaces or sterilize the air in some cases. Uh, tea tree is rich in terpenes, do help to sterilize an area or again, sterilize the air. And so they have used these in medical practices. They have used them um, obviously in curing different issues, but no one's really talked about using these on a plant scale. And I could only really find one study that even talked about plants and it was more of on an agricultural greenhouse perspective and they were looking at adding thyme in particular to kind of like a humidifier scenario in hopes of reducing fungal spore spread 
and just fungal development within that greenhouse, both on the plant, the soil, the air, with the use of essential oils. And they did find that it did reduce the potential spread of fungal spores. So that's kind of what turned my mind around into thinking about using essential oils in my plant routine. The question is, should you put essential oils in a mister and then mist your plants to you know, use as a, a bug preventative? And I don't know the answer to that. I can't say for sure whether or not it's going to work. If it has worked for you in pest control, please let me know in the comments down below, share your thoughts and your beliefs. But I couldn't find any studies on that particular topic in general. But it did appear that when it comes to bacterial and fungal, that this will, essential oils in particular, peppermint, thyme, clove, and tea tree, will all help lessen or destroy the spread of certain bacterial and fungal diseases, particularly in plants. So when we use essential oils on the plants, we want to make sure it's a heavily diluted ratio. And I'm talking like two, three drops per spray bottle. It is concentrated and it can burn or harm your plant leaves if used in too high of a quantity. So we do want to avoid that when possible. And now what's what makes me a little bit hesitant about this is because it is an unregulated substance, I do feel as though there's likely things like alcohols or um, additives in it. And so I don't feel comfortable telling you to put essential oils on your plants just in general, a blanket term of, yeah, just put it on your plants, it'll be fine. And ultimately that does come down to the unregulated side of this industry. So I, I'm not gonna tell you to do it. If you do it, you will kill fungi, you will kill bacteria. You also may kill your plant. I'm just gonna be straight up with that. Now with a humidifier, it's a little bit different. It's not nearly as concentrated and it will ultimately help purify your air to a point to a point wherever the mist may touch it will purify so if you have a plant room or something of that nature you should probably have a humidifier anyways this guy i just turned him in yeah you guys would be surprised how dry my house is so this is at a relative humidity of 30 and it's running that's sad so anyways your humidity in your home or in your plant room in particular, your grow tent, your indoor greenhouse, your Ikea greenhouse should be 60 plus. If you can get between 60 and 80, you are gonna have some really amazing results. So you should be running a humidifier regardless. But with this guy here, all you need to do is take a paper towel and you literally just put some drops on here. Now, don't look at the type I got. I got eucalyptus and this was before I decided to research. I was like, I gotta get essential oils for a YouTube video. And then, yeah, I got the wrong stuff. I got the stuff without all the beneficial stuff in it. Okay, I'm gonna put some on there. I don't know if that was too much. I don't know if that wasn't enough. That seems like a lot. Oh, yep, that's a lot. That's a lot. Oh, it smells really good though. Really good. I feel like I got eucalyptus because I was looking at a uh, hospital study. And they were talking about for like respiratory issues how it's really common for uh, the patients who get like this homotherapy I guess uh, they con they continually will request eucalyptus and I was like oh congestion I'm always congested and now here we are completely forgot about plants and decided to get all selfish and think of myself so I'm gonna pop that back in there that's so convenient oh that's instantaneous oh my goodness that smells wonderful Okay, now I smell like Vicks. Love that for us. So with this, um, like I said, you're gonna wanna put it up to 60 or higher. That's really high. But anyways, um, my house will never be at that level, unfortunately. There is three settings. I have it on max right now for uh, the purpose of, you know, really showing off the, the vaporizing. But there is three different settings. There's a uh, low, uh, medium and high and this whole thing is a water reservoir with a water indicator on the front make sure it's full obviously it won't run if it's not full but it does have an automatic shut off and I have let it run out and it does shut off so it don't burn itself out which is re really really nice it does have a UV light which is extra sterilization I do tend to leave that on quite a lot I have another humidifier in the house too 
same thing. I leave the UV on pretty much all the time. And then there is the timer option. I don't shut the timer off. Like I said, my house is always really, really humid. But say you don't want it running all day, whatever the case is, you can pop a timer on and it has remote control. It has remote control. I really, really like this. I like this humidifier. It is way better than a diffuser. I've spent money years ago on essential oil diffusers. Pfft, lame. I'm done with them. This is cool though. I do enjoy this quite a bit. So you guys have to let me know down in the comments below what you think. If you're gonna try to use, you know, humidifiers with a bit of essential oils in it, or if your choice going forward is going to be to use essential oils like in a, a spray scenario, whatever the case is, I'd be interested to know. I'd also be interested to know if you were a little bit hesitant about essential oils and you kind of thought that it was like hokey pokey. I don't know if it's just me or not. I have no idea, I'm not gonna lie, but I'm just gonna let you guys know, I was not convinced prior to this video. I thought it was just like an MLM thing. Like you just sold it because of that reason or it was like some kind of hippie thing. But apparently it's not, it's legit. It is legit, which ultimately makes sense. A lot of our medications are just concentrated plants pretty much, so. It would make sense that my ignorance uh, took the better of me there. So, I want to thank you guys for watching. Be sure to give the video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. And hit that subscribe button. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.